On 2 News at 6 in HD, officials say 90% of all Vision 2025 projects are finished, but some projects won't be completed without additional funding. 2 News reporter Krista Flash joins us live from downtown Tulsa tonight. And Krista, one downtown project is facing a dilemma. That's right, Russ. Vision 2025 is only funding a portion of the Centennial Walk. It's made up of four phases, and right now there's just enough money to finish phase two, which is here at the Centennial Green. Brick sidewalks and decorative lighting are all part of Tulsa's Centennial Walk project. The transformation is possible because of money from Vision 2025, a $530 million countywide initiative that voters approved nearly seven years ago. There were just areas that you couldn't walk at night just because it's just hazardous. It's tripping, the sidewalks were thin, we had a lot of overgrown trees. We had, and now, with the, the latest ADA requirements and, and what we see, we're really trying to make it walkable down there. Project manager Paul Zachary says Centennial Walk has two phases left, but no money to fund it, which means work on several blocks will have to wait, along with 25 historical markers. All the vision funds have been used appropriately. Vision 2025 program director Kirby Crow says the city has the right to determine the project's priorities. Other vision projects that have yet to be completed include a sports complex at Mohawk Park and new dams for the Arkansas River. Vision money will go for matching dollars on, on the river for um, design and implementation of um, two new low water dams and renovations to Zinc Dam and Zinc Lake. Another piece of the funding puzzle for the Arkansas River comes from the federal government, and there's no time frame for when that money will arrive. Phase two of Centennial Walk should be finished by fall of next year. Live in downtown Tulsa, Krista Flash, 2 News Works for you.